You can get really high quality coffee for like a dollar twenty using any of the vending machines and then you just tap a Suica card or an IC card. But I was able to make one in Apple Wallet, it's super easy. God, I love coming to Japan. <laughs> Anyway, I'm here at SeaTech 2019. Hopefully it will be one of the shows that I go to every year uh, in the rotation of tech shows. And what I noticed is that a lot of the tech that is being showcased at this more business to business show happens to be health oriented, which makes a lot of sense in general. But one of the main finds that was here in hall seven or eight of SeaTech 2019 uh, was a product that I was inspired to bring up and use as a resurrection of type two foodie. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And let's take a look at this little piece of tech that might be able to monitor your blood glucose levels without having to draw actual blood. All right, so this particular product is being developed by Kyocera, but this little device that uses gyro sensors presses up against an artery that's right here below the area of the thumb underneath the palm uh, in order to measure blood flow and a few different metrics about it. Now, it's a little bit tough for me to talk about the science behind this, and I was really curious about it, but unfortunately with uh, some of the language barriers and even with an interpreter, we weren't really able to get some hard facts about the science behind this lifestyle product. Now, it's really important for me to say lifestyle product because Kyocera does not want this to be considered a full medical device. And I think one of the main reasons why is because the accuracy of this device might still be a little bit in question but it could give you a little bit of a snapshot into your overall health uh, when you measure your uh, levels before a meal and at a certain time after the meals. Any type two diabetics out there like myself know that these are very important metrics, how your blood sugar reacts to the food you eat. All right, so here's what one of those tests actually looks like. I had the gentleman uh, measure what they call just my carbohydrate level, uh, and they pressed this gyro sensor right up to the large artery under my hand somewhere around there at least. And I was already feeling a little bit odd about it because I had tested my blood sugar earlier in the morning to see what my fasted levels were. And I didn't eat all the way up until this particular moment. So let me just cut to the part where I ran right back to the room to test my blood again, to test that accuracy. All right, so I just got back from getting that rating done. I just wanted to cut to this real quick because I got really curious. I'm still looking up a couple of journal sites and uh, some articles that state that this kind of measurement actually gives you an accurate reading of your blood glucose. Uh, now, generally for people like me who are type two diabetic, we have to use devices like this. So you probably are familiar with little blood glucose meters like this, where you put a strip in, you put some blood in, and then it gives you what should be a fairly accurate reading. So I'm gonna do that right now. And the reading was around 140 based upon the device that we're talking about in this video. So let's see what happens here. All right, so there you go, 110. So I know that my blood sugar is at a pretty good level. 110 is pretty good for a type two diabetic like myself, uh, but I'm really curious, and I guess I'll talk about it a little bit later after I cut away from this quick segment that I did, uh, just to talk about how something like a gyro sensor or a gyroscope would actually show you what the trends in your blood glucose might be, because that's what this product is supposed to do. You take a measurement before your meal, and then you take a measurement sometime after the meal, and it gives you some of the trends and gives you a look at what your carbohydrate intake might do to you. So I can't really speak to the science behind all of this, but I don't think Kyocera wants to either. Again, this is a lifestyle device, not a medical device. So it's just a way for you to know generally how you are, how you're feeling, what you should probably look out for, and then you go to the medical devices to figure out the actual data after that. But for anybody out there that wants to have a good snapshot of their health, and they might be diabetic, this is a great way of doing so without having to worry about the lancets and drawing blood and all of that stuff. So it might actually be more accessible to people who are a bit skeevish about that. And honestly, I'm still curious about the science behind checking a blood flow or blood pulse uh, as a way of measuring blood glucose levels. And if anybody out there knows the science behind it, please let me know, link it in the description below. This is a study that I found trying to connect heart rate variability, which is a new type of metric that we're starting to use more in the US, uh, as a way of measuring blood glucose levels over time. And as long as the variance is rather high, meaning that it's not the exact same beat each time, especially if your heart rate is high, that means that your body is less stressed and you might be a healthier person overall. So kind of in a nutshell, that study found that with higher heart rate variance or HRV, those people generally had less hyperinsulinemia and also lower blood glucose. You know, you gotta respect the hustle. She's trying to sell the food to all the people who are trying to go to the conference right now. It's, uh, it's onigiri, which I would love to eat, but this is type two foodie we're talking about. <laughs>
Anyway, the takeaway is pretty obvious. I want to see more devices like this in the diabetes world because some people might be a little bit skeevish about actually drawing blood all the time. And it's something that we diabetics have to live with all the time. Something that's a bit easier, something you can use at any time, and something that's not invasive, that would be huge for monitoring one's uh, glucose levels and for uh, managing diabetes. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to more stuff that I'm doing here in Japan. I'm trying to do a lot of stuff here uh, because I love being in Japan. I have a lot of tech that I want to show off. Uh, few reviews uh, and obviously type 2 foodie is every Friday. So stay tuned to my channel for even more things about health, type 2 diabetes, stuff like that that I just want to talk about every Friday on the segment called type 2 foodie. I'm going to walk away from the onigiri and make sure I don't get tempted. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and remind you. To, to enjoy your tea, everybody.